morning. It's about 7.30, beginning of day number three. I'm at Boulder Oaks Campground. And a lot of hikers here. Everybody's just getting up, getting ready to go. Woke up with everything covered in condensation and um, ice inside the tent, so it got kind of cold. Sun's coming out though. I'm uh, gonna get going. I've left Boulder Oaks. It's been hiking about, I don't know, 15 minutes. And uh, the sun's just coming up. Get warmed up. I don't feel too bad today. I'll do a uh, pop another blister. But as long as I keep the fluid out of them, they're not too bad. Um, yeah, everything was covered in condensation, so I just packed everything up wet and heading to Boulder Oaks. And I'll probably stop there for lunch and dry all my stuff out. Um, I don't feel too bad today, other than, you know, my feet, the whole, just the blisters, but they're manageable. And my hips hurt. I think it's just the way this pack sits. It's gonna take a little while to get used to it. But other than that, my legs feel good, which is encouraging. Plan is to try to do 12, about 12, 12.8 12 today. Not sure that'll be my longest day so far, but um, the, up to Boulder Oaks, it's a pretty easy hike, so we'll see. And a uh, whole bunch of people behind me couple in front of me so a lot of people on trail today all right I've done just about two miles and overlooking Lake Morena now beautiful morning it's like perfect temperature right now sun's out but it's still fairly cool enough to be in shorts and a t-shirt but um, not hot other than from sweating from hiking, but yeah, I'm feeling good today. Uh, see how far I can get. Um, I am doing a hundred mile challenge. Uh, it's the second annual hundred mile challenge for, um, St. Jude's Research Hospital. And so there's a, there's a link at the bottom of my video. If you look where the, the description of the video I have a link down there if you would like to donate to that. Um, the goal was $200 and um, thanks to a few donors already, I've already surpassed that, but uh, the more the better. It's a great hospital. They do amazing things for kids with cancer and um, their families, like no family ever has to pay. They don't get a bill for receiving their services there. So it's a great cause. Um, and I've done 22 miles so far, so I've got 78 to go for this challenge. So yeah, if you'd like to donate, uh, just follow the link. There's a couple other links in the bottom of my video. Um, I do have a Patreon uh, membership page on there too, if you're interested in uh, joining my Patreon. Um, as a, a subscriber, I'll be put posting my Relive uh, videos in there and also pictures and um, other content that you'll get that uh, just normal YouTube subscribers won't get so there's a link for that there's also a link for a PayPal account um, if you just uh, like to donate to my channel um, I had another subscriber ask me to post both of those actually on my introduction video and so I did um, right now though for the first hundred miles really my focus is on the, the St. Jude's challenge. So anyway, yeah. And if you're not a subscriber and would like to follow me along on my journey, um, hit the subscribe button. If you like my videos, hit the like button. And uh, yeah, I'm going to get posting these videos soon. I've been out here. This is my third day and I haven't edited any videos yet, but I will. It's just I've been tired at night and uh, not great internet up to this point anyway. But um yeah, I'll start getting some videos out here shortly. All right, thanks. Beautiful view from here. Yeah. 
ready to kind of drop down a little bit. But yeah, great view of Lake Moraine. Just came from this way. Just kind of weaving my way around this mountain. And it'll drop down into Boulder. I just came across these beautiful flowers just on this ledge here. There's a road down there. Yeah, I've never, I haven't seen these ones before. Really pretty. All right, just about to the underpass here. Uh, coming through this little meadow. Totally change the scenery. Yeah, there's the bridge over there with all the graffiti on it. And uh, last time I came through here, uh, this creek was running pretty good. I had to take my shoes and socks off to wade across it, so. But it's dry this year. It's been a good hike this morning. Just ran into, I don't know, a technician for the, I don't know, Forest Service, or he said for the PCTA, but he had on, looked like Forest Service uniform. Asked me some questions about if I started on my permit date. Uh, if I had a fire permit, if I had any concerns, that kind of stuff. Nice guy. So he's stopped up the hill a little ways. And so he can interview all the hikers coming through. Ah, it's been a good hike this morning. And uh, I think I got about two miles to get to Boulder Oaks. Yeah, there's the graffiti. Fancy. BCTA sign. All right. Gonna keep trucking along. Okay, I'm at Boulder Oaks Campground. I've been here for probably a good hour. It's been drying out my tent, and my sleep bag, and uh, draining my blisters, put some new Luco tape on them, and had something to eat. So I'm getting ready to head out here and uh, next stop will be Kitchen Creek. It's a nice little campground. Nice little breeze today. It's not too hot. It feels pretty good. So I did switch into my sun shirt for this next section because it's kind of exposed and definitely got a little bit of sun this morning wearing a t-shirt. So don't want to get burnt. Yeah, so I'm going to pack up my tent and uh, get heading out. I think I'm going to try to probably get to Fred, Fred Canyon maybe i think i might just stop there so we'll see i'll see how i feel all right catch you down trail hey just leaving uh boulder oaks and i found this uh trail magic here look at that there's red vine licorice and some caramel looks like or butterscotch and some tootsie rolls so thank you whoever left this what a nice treat all right on the way to mount laguna just came up from Boulder Oaks, there's a highway down there, and just kind of climbing up around the edges of these mountains slowly. It's still it's much hotter now. I'm very exposed. Um, and this is a trail going up and around. Let's see the ridge tops up there. Yeah. So my face is on fire again. So I just stopped for a minute. My face cool down but yeah making progress i've done about seven miles today it's about 12 30. took a long break at boulder oak so next stop will be kitchen creek hopefully you can hear me it's kind of windy out here but uh this is one of my favorite sections i think it's just absolutely gorgeous just past kitchen creek area and the highway and Decided to push on to Sibbett's Flats. And, uh, yeah, but I love this section. Good morning. It's uh, beginning of day number four. And I believe today's Easter, so happy Easter, everybody. Uh, kept, I ended up camping at uh, Fred Canyon uh, last night, and there ended up a lot of people showed up, so I didn't do any vlogging when I got there. And, um, yeah, there was probably 15, 20 of us that showed up, so. Um, and I'm out of water. I ended up not stopping at Kitchen Creek yesterday. 
so I just had a little bit of water for last night. I haven't had coffee or anything this morning, but I am on my way to Sibbets Flats. So I'm going to hike down the road to the campground and get water, uh, use the bathroom down there, and uh, probably stop and have some coffee and breakfast before I carry on to Mount Laguna today. So it should be about, well, with going down to Sibbets, it'll probably be about 11 miles total to get to Mount Laguna today. I uh, got really cold last night. I didn't sleep good. I slept good till like 12.30 at night and I was awake till like 3.30 in the morning and then I kind of slept off and on until I got up at 6. So, yep, I'm getting warmed up now that I'm moving. So I will catch up with you in a little bit. All right, I made it to the unexploded military ordnance sign. And then the turn off for civets, I think, is right up here. So, up. Oh. Heading down trail. I am starting to get thirsty. So I haven't had any water today. I didn't drink nearly enough water yesterday. I just wasn't that thirsty, but I uh, brought like. I don't know, maybe two liters at the most from uh, Mor Lake Morena. And that's uh, all I drank all day. I never stopped and got water even at Boulder Oak. So, because I still have water left. All right. Sibbets Flats. 0.7 miles. The trail goes up here. So, all right, looks like the arrow's going this way. So, I'm going to go down here and go get water. All right, I made it to the Sibbets Flats. Been here for a little bit. Um, just making some. All right, the sun's kind of shining there. Um, anyway, just having some coffee and some cream of wheat with trail mix in it and I uh, got some water and used the bathroom and I'm gonna find a garbage can so yeah beautiful campground the CT trail goes up over here yep. It's supposed to get pretty warm today, I think. I think it's supposed to be in the 80s the next couple days, so. I'm ready for a shower and get to Mount Laguna, so. It's gonna take me all day, though. It's all uphill. It's almost 2,000 feet climbing, I believe, so. It's gonna, it's gonna be a hard day, but it's doable. All right. Just climbing up Mount Laguna. It's quite the climb. Look at this amazing view out here. Isn't that beautiful? It's gonna be, it's gonna get warm today. I can tell it's gonna be in the 80s. I don't know what it is right now, but there's uh, no wind. This isn't a good thing, really. I'm kinda tired today. I didn't sleep good last night, so. But I'm, I'm getting there. It's gonna get warmed up after eating, so. Uh, been hiking a little bit with the doctor from San Diego this morning. Nice man. Had a good chat with him while we climbed this hill. Uh, and stopped, put some sunscreen on, and get into my shorts. So, yeah, beautiful. Just to put things in perspective, you can see that little campground down there, you see the white? That's Sibbets Flats campground that I've climbed up from in the last hour. Yep, all the way up around here. Let me switch backs up here. And actually I came from Fred Canyon, which is even like 200 feet lower. Hello. All right, so I made it to the Pine Forest. Mount Laguna. Man, I'm freaking beat. See how red I am? Whew, it's hot. 
Yeah, that climb about wiped me out. I was using my umbrella up until lunch and then I couldn't get it to work right after lunch. It just kept like flopping around. So I finally took it off and so I'll do the last climb without it. Anyway, I'm glad to be this far. I still got a few miles left to go, but I'm gonna crawl into Mount Laguna <laughs> if it kills me. But anyway, whoo, happy Easter everybody. It's been a rough one. Um, I'm so grateful to be out here, but today was, today was definitely tough. So I, I got to quit doing these climbs in the middle of the day. It's just, a, it's just stupid. I think I have to come up with a better plan because it always seems to happen that I get to them in the middle of the day and I'm impatient and don't want to wait till it cools off. And so then I get to look like this, my face on fire. Yeah, need to rethink this.